Please tell me I'm streaming to the right one. I think I'm streaming to the right one now. Stinking OBS. Suck a lemon. Welcome. Am I? I'm up there now. Beautiful. All right. I forgot to save the image, didn't I? Let me just jump over to Discord and just crack this open file. Save image as. And this is my filing system. 29 Cliff Station. Um, Cliff Station. I probably should have done that before we started streaming. But, uh, you know, this is how we roll. I am here, Mr. Emerger. Oh my goodness. We got here in the end. <gasps> okay, click and drag that in. So, this is what we're creating today ish, kinda. We'll see. We'll see actually what happens. Um. <laughs> here I am. Um. We are going to smash this out a little bit. It is already 20 past 11, but that's because of daylight savings. But we're gonna kind of grab some assets. Now, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of my 3D scans here. Now we scanned these a while back. Um, come on, let's select them both. Yeah, we scanned these a while back. I went for a walk up the uh, path. <laughs> You know, being rural or straight. I'm not rural or straight. I'm not talking about in capital city. <laughs> Con's here. Oh my goodness. Lex, hey. All right. So let me just quickly show you what these look like. I'm going to jump over into cycles. We go into GPU, change that to probably 32, and we'll render at 128 for now. Just throw on that denoise. Jump over into shading. Go away. Skedaddle. Skedaddle. Jump over into world and we will do the default thing of adding a sky texture uh, and over into film and this is how we always set up our scene point one and then when we go into rendered view you can see this is what we got now obviously you can see that the colors are a little bit different but yeah yeah pretty much i do want to use some more of these kit bashing sets um so probably in due time, I will go ahead and create some more. Uh, but we're going to grab, let's jump back into that. We will try and create this cliff face. Now, obviously these ones here. Now I am pressing Alt D to duplicate. And then we're going to just kind of create a bit of a landscape just to start off with. There we go. Something like that. And this will create our Roxy McRock Rocks. There we go. And you can see how we've very quickly created our kind of like, oops, a bit of a landscape scenario here. Um, pfft, what am I doing? I don't know, but that's fine. Cause we never know what I'm doing. Um, from here, I'm just going to maybe just fill in some of these gaps. And we can always kind of go into edit mode, select this center face, O, G, Z. And we're just kind of something like that. Let's go G, Z. There we go. It's kind of a bit of a lump. Uh, if we come in here, seems to be quite nice. I'm okay with it. I mean, we can see a lot of polygons. Yeah. Uh, there is a knife. There is. However, I've 3D scanned something as well. So let's grab these two and bring it back over into this scene. Control V. And let's have a look. So these ones here. So this is actually in the backyard of a friend's house. Um, this is actually their water feature that they're trying to build. Hey, 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 hey. This is control S. This is their water feature that they're trying to build. Rotate that way, sunshine. And you can kind of see this is where the water's meant to be falling, and then it kind of trickles down. Um, and that's another part of their wall. So what I'm thinking, where's the front view? Front view's there. Let's go rotate 180. 
rotate Z 180. Mm. Something like this. I mean, we've got a bit of greenery in there. Something like that. And then we also have this piece here. Rotate Z 180. Uh, it's going to go Alt R to reset the rotation, Alt G to reset the ro location, and then we'll bring it back in. Okay, what do we got? So if we're like looking at this angle, seems a little small scale. I think that once we kind of like maybe put a depth of field on, it might turn out okay. But I think what we're going to have to do is, I don't think this is really going to work. However, I do like that. That kind of works out nice. Uh, let's go ahead, Shift D. I'm going to scale that down a bit. Um, I've been semi-inspired by the, the 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 Blender splash screen guy. So I made a video on how he kind of done it, how he found like this asset of a castle and pretty much just boolean the heck out of it and created the splash screen so that's not too bad let's go into shading maybe i might just rotate the sun a little bit um and we've got a very simple sky texture on here so if we go into the rotation Or do we go into the shadow? Is this here too distracting? Mmm. Mmm. I don't know about these plants though. Not too keen on them. But they kind of do work. I'm intrigued to see what this building on top is going to look like. So maybe let's go ahead and start building. Actually, let's do this. I'm going to grab this piece and oh, itchy nose. I'm going to grab this. So we have this. Let's go shift S. I am going to try something. Maybe change the focal leg to camera. Mr. Merger, always to the rescue. Let's go 150. And we'll bring that back. Yes, and then we'll go clipping to a thousand. Let's bring it up a smidgen. Uh, maybe not a thousand, I think a thousand is maybe a little bit too much. Let's go 200. Beautiful. Then from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to keep increasing this a little bit. Uh, let's go rotate. Whoops. So I didn't Alt D, and I want to Alt D to something, something. It works for better performance. Okay, let's bring that down. Grab that one. Shh. Alt D. Let's get something like that. And so the plan is... Ugh, let's fix that up. So we're just still, still semi in the blocking phase. Uh, let's go scale X minus one. There we go. And just kind of like hide that in there a little bit. We can see, we can see, we can see. I'm just going to repeat myself. Um, how's that looking now? How are you looking? It's not too bad. Hmm. Yeah, let's just keep going. I want to fill in that hole there with one little piece. I've got a little piece here. That's the one. Shift D. GZ. Scale on the Z. Ugh. Let's not do that. <laughs> Can we do this? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Now, the thing that I wanted to do was use Felicia White's water shader. Um... All these assets here you can download on the Patreons. You can also download this one on the Patreons. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I put it on there. Let me crack it open. So this is our water shader. 
I don't think I have. Ooh. Anyway, and then I'm gonna go Control V and we're gonna dump that in there. Now, it doesn't need to be so high. Control A, apply that scale. G to the Z. And we're just gonna be kind of making something like that. Um, if I just hide that image for now, I think we're definitely gonna need something off into the distance, but we'll probably put kind of like a cloud, a uh, fog cloud in there. Uh, you sir, go away. But that's not too bad. I think the waves are a bit too much of a scale. Let's come into modifiers, subdivision. Let's go into objects, material settings. Here we go, scale. So these are animated as well. Let's just go one. I just want it really nice and flat. Uh, volume, density, merc, merc, here you go, mate, merc, oh, merc. <laughs> All right, I like how that is looking, and I think we might go with it for now. I think I might still raise the sun up a smidgen. Uh, nope, that's sun rotation. I want to go higher. Now, now it just looks like a beach scene. Hmm. Whoa, 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 undo, 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 undo. Don't change the size of the sun. Let's get 40 degrees. I think that looks okay. Can we give it more air? No, more air. Which one makes it more greener? Well, it's not bad. Let's go back to one. Dust. Dust makes it the background like that ozone i think ozone makes it bluer i'm more intrigued about this air fun fact what is this going to look like if i do that and we jump over into an emission and we make that le bleu emission 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 100 and Does orange and blue go together? I think they do. No. Nah. Okay. I will make sure the water one comes on. I mean, the cloud. The, yeah, water one comes on. I better check. Let me just check really quick. Can I put the water one on Patreon? <laughs> anyway. So, we've pretty much done nothing. We've le at the moment, we've used two models, four models, two ground, two cliff faces, and this is where we're at. Now from here, let's bring back our picture. Um, obviously the picture is a bit of a different color, but I'm actually really liking this orangeness. So let's kind of go with that. The water here in the background, I think it does work. Maybe it won't go so strong. Oh, geez, I don't know. They are complementary colors, good. Good, 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 good. And so let's kind of go ahead and maybe build something like that. Oh, <laughs> darn it. <laughs> All right. So let's, mm, I want to do it without the water. Let us go. I reckon we do that. Let's get rid of the water and we keep with off this off into the distance somehow so let's go shift d rotate scale on the z nope don't do that okay mm, rotate 180 and then obviously once we pull it all the way back and then we have that depth of field on I think hopefully we might be able to hide it. So for instance, if I go now, select our camera, I'm trying to preset everything up because we don't want to worry about a whole bunch of stuff in the background. 0.5. Will this make it look like a miniature? That is my biggest fear. But let's go ahead. Let's kind of create some sort of structure in here now. I think is the best way to move forward. All right, done. So uh, starting off, let's go with a cube. 
O to get rid of that proportional editing. Uh, for now, I will keep everything like this angle and then we'll rotate it around. Tom, Tom, welcome. Let's go like so, G to the Z, E to extrude. Actually, no, let's go delete faces. Beautiful. And then from here, F and F. I'm trying to think what's, what are we doing? Kind of like this section in here. So it's kind of boolean that out. So maybe <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, maybe we do that. Let's start off with a boolean. Something like so. Um, shift left click. And because I've got the bool tool enabled, which is an add-on that comes by default with Blender, control numpad minus. There we go. So now we've kind of cut out this section. Um, let's go. Shift A, we'll add in another cylinder. And we're just gonna scale it so it's just above it. Scale Shift Z. There we go. So we have this. Ah, oh, darn it. I really, mm, I don't wanna rotate it. Oh, actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's go rotate it because we want it to sit kind of flush with this cliff face. So something like so. Yes, nice. And then from here, I'm gonna put a few edge loops, control B, put that in there. And what we're gonna do is these are gonna be kind of like our hanger bays. Something like that. Um, this one, this one, this one, this one. I'm gonna press I to do an inset and then I again to make uh, an individual inset. Scale on the Z, G to the Z. Let's go E to extrude. All right. Um, from here, two materials new. Make this the white light and we'll change that to an emission uh, 10 and make sure we apply that material because we always forget. Well, Marco always forgets. And so that's what we got. That's kind of cool that it's actually cut off. Did Blender just crash? Come on, catch up. Uh, okay, come on. There we go, all right, Blender's back. So, I might just hide that because we don't need to see it. I like how that there, we might have to cut this off. So I'm just gonna go in wireframe and let's just kind of go delete faces. How noticeable is it in the render? Mm, it's okay, it's not that bad. I'm down with that. What do you think about AI generated models? Nah, I don't think so. Uh, I thought the PC went boom, but it didn't. Uh, you can always just blur out the background post. Yeah, I think that's what I'll probably do is just render out in layers. All right, so from here, we're going to create a shift D, G to the Z, P separate by selection. And I just wanna work with this one piece. Scale Y, Y. What? Rotate. Oh, you daft donkey. Did I really do that? I'm just seeing if I rendered it. Oh, you idiot. So. I can't now, because I must have moved it in edit mode. I can't now do like straight on. Idiot, you idiot. Okay, so let's delete that and we'll continue on. Let's go like this, G to the Z, scale. And what we're gonna do is kind of just create some supports. Let's just go into solid mode, come on. Uh, period key just to the zoom in a little bit let's go g to the z g y and then we'll move this back in as well there we go something like that something nice and simple and then from here let's line it up 
something like that how are we looking yep good 40 degrees if i remember correctly now if we come down to the bottom uh let's go g to the z something like that and now it's kind of bracing let's throw on an array Ooh. that's not bad let's go gyy oh sorry xx move it along do a few more is it off it sure is so i know that these angle is wrong so maybe 38 how it was there we go look at that and so that's how we're building that mto creations welcome mate all right kind of annoying when it suddenly crashes i know <laughs> there is no audio i'm going to assume maybe you might have your stuff turned down <laughs> All right, so I'm happy with how that looks. What I am thinking though, is maybe we layer this up a little bit, but spread it apart. I mean, the bottom here, this whole section could possibly be a larger soccer blur. Come on, Marco, you can, you can do this stuff. Let's just select that g to the z and then we've got some giant get stuffed that's right because you're an idiot maybe something like that um however we do have hmm i'm just trying to think what's the best way to do this maybe we put an edge loop through there v to rip i'm going to select everything else Control l and delete the vertices and then we're left with this face here. There we go. All right, and now when we move it out, nice. Let's just go E to extrude. Uh, we will select all this, Shift D, P, separate by selection. And with this little box selected, we're gonna close it off. And then shift left click on our rock, control numpad minus. You didn't cut. Why didn't you cut? Can you please cut? Control A apply scale. What the? Hey. Oh, yeah. But. Hmm. Ah, I know. So the problem is, is probably the normals. So if I select that, shift N to flip the normals. There we go. So now that's cut out. Let's go. I'm just going to scale that on the Z axis. Um, G, I can't move it. I hate you. There we go. That should be fine now. And that's now giving us a nice, good cat. Like a good old pork chop. There we go. So if we come into rendered view, we're going to see some nice white light from coming in from within. Um, but we'll probably change that once we start adding some crud around the top. UV mapping materials depends. What uh, what are you trying to do? Ah, if you're on an iPhone, you got to put it off silence. That's the problem. <laughs> I can't type because you can't hear me. Um, UV unmap, UV mapping sucks. I hate it. Um, but I have been doing it a, a lot more recently. Um, and that's purely because of Omniverse. Because Omniverse, you actually, it's more of like an Unreal Engine. And you actually need to UV unwrap stuff. Which is fine. It's, uh, it's good practice. Uh, I am trying to do another, still another short. I'm still trying to finish off that Star Wars one, but I'm running out of time and running out of patience with that one. But I do want to finish it. It is good. It's a good comedy value one. There we go. And so that's how we're building it. 
Um, we can definitely see that we've got some other buildings all the way up here. And I reckon we probably just build some sort of tower up here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Mostly for terrain materials, for examples, like what you use right now. Well, these, these are photo scans. So probably not the best. Um, for a world, for a landscape though, depends how harsh your landscape is. Are you taking an Unreal Engine? Are you taking a Unity, which sucks? Um, but with the PBR shader, you can do it pretty simple. I do have a video somewhere else <laughs> on how to create a nice, really nice looking shader. I think we need to cover this up somehow. Maybe we'll grab some rocks or something. Work backwards. Anyway, so I'm liking how this is looking. Um, so my thoughts are, if we were to come in here, select this. Let's go. It is too boxy at the moment. So I'm just trying to think, how are we going to do this? Um, let's, you know, let's just go. Let's do my little, little favorite things, as we all know. For those of you who are subscribed and follow. If not, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. I like that. It's just giving that little bit of extra... Um, probably definitely what we'll do is come and start wrapping in some pipage as well. Maybe even put an edge loop through here. Edge loop through here and through here. And then I'm just going to bring back this section. I oh, suck. GG. Nice. And then definitely underneath we'll probably start putting a whole bunch of stuff. One inspiring artist. Welcome, buddy. Um, and we might do the same on here. I think a whole bunch of like kit bashing. So let's just quickly open that up. I know the pieces that I want to use. So hopefully it'll be nice and quick as we can just slap this all together. Um, oh yeah. Okay. So this is a preview for a short tutorial that's coming out. Okay. So preview. It is only a one minute tutorial because uh, Apparently, you guys love that stuff, so... And it's not a YouTube short, it's literally just a one-minute tutorial. So, if I do this, and I go Shift-D, and let's go something like so, I can select both of these, and then con Control shift a go into Curves, come into Knots, and Cantonary. There we go. From here, we can add in Active Spl... Nope. We can go into geometry. And then now we've created kind of like a Bezier oops, pipage in between two objects. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so let's go like so. Make sure that goes into there. Where's my cube? There it is. Let's deselect that. Uh, shift A, curve, knots, and cantonary. Hey, 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 settle down. There we go. Um, no, 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 no. So we come over into here. Steps, 24. No, I want 8. Uh, bevel radius. There we go. 0 0.01. And this thing is the saggy bit. There we go. Ah, that's right. Okay, I remember now. Let's go G, and then we can select our cube again. Let's just go GZ, bring it back down so we can actually see it. And then we'll go Shift A, Curve, Not, Cantonary. And then you can see how we're just quickly putting stuff around. Okay, so you create the dinosaur split on their teeth like that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> On the doors, made this. Yes. Uh, I know rigging is a yucky thing. Um, so that's why I've kind of did that one. Because I know that when we were on live stream, you guys loved it. So we continued it. Knots, um, Cantonary. And so I'm just going to do a few of these, just a few more. Curve, not Cantonary. 
And so now if we kind of come into this view, you can see how crud is hanging around. Let's bring that over to here. Where's my other cube? You are there. Beautiful. Uh, G to the Z. G X. Select both of them. We'll do one more. And then we'll go away from this and focus on something else. Um, ooh. Arrow. Didums. Bevel resolution. Whoops. I forgot to add them. That's right. We'll fix that up later. Um, and then I think we could probably select all these. Control J to join. And then they take on all those properties. Yeah, beautiful. Sick. But yeah, you can kind of see how quickly we've just added in some cables. The bevel police. Fine, I'll put on some bevels. Uh, 0.01. 0.01. 0.005. There we go. And we'll do the same. 0.05. There we go. Lovely jubblies. Love it. Kind of looking at this. We can see that there's another section here probably for like standing people or living quarters, so on and so forth. Um, the other thing we could probably do is have some sort of massive pipes that go into the earth, maybe like uh, thermal heating. So we will continue on with the theme of the Bezier curve. So we've got it here now. Let's select it and delete all vertices. T to bring up the side pen menu, we're going to draw. From here, we need to go into the tools and we need to draw on the surface. All right, so let's kind of go something like that. Did that go down far enough? I don't think it did. Let's undo that and we'll grab another one into there, buddy. Thank you. What we do now is we can come into the depth something like this let's just go g mm, let's go ahead and we'll delete that vertice what's that vertice going to do let's rotate on something like that and then we'll bring these ones out Oh, itchy nose. Oh, that one's out a little bit too far. Something like that. I think that looks pretty suave. Uh, but with this one, I'm just going to move it down into something like that. So you can see that we've created some like giant pipage now. Um, and we might just shift to D to duplicate. GX bring it out I hate you so much something like that nice let's go tab into edit mode and we might just bring that one over here a smidgen just so we can see it <laughs> I hate you <laughs> All right, let's, let's, let's just go with that. M, welcome. All right. But if I didn't have this piece, that's what it would kind of look like. Shut up, phone. Uh, let's go something like that, maybe. That there, we'll clean that up. Oh, actually, no, let's just leave it. How are we looking now? This worries me, the small scale stuff. Hey Manatee, uh, so these are just some photo scans that I did. But yeah, they... Mm. Does it look like a miniature? Does it look like a miniature? This is where I'm kind of struck. Struck? Stuck. Mm. Alright. 
Let's mm, 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 thinking. Um, okay, let's go ahead and we'll throw on some other kit bashing assets. Oh yeah, well we didn't even throw any on, did we? Donkey. Let's go back in. Um, ooh. What if we did this? Alt R. And we kind of went something like that. I, uh, I can see what I'm putting down. Let's go Alt R and we'll scale that puppy down. No, 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 come back. Rotate X 90. Uh, rotate 38 to the minus. Uh, let's go something like that. How's that looking? Mm, I don't believe you. Yes, that is coming together. Sick. I'm just trying to see. Come on, let's give me, give me one more piece. And then we'll probably actually work on. Alt R, rotate X 90, rotate Z. I have a sudden urge to, to play Mo Oblivion. <laughs> oh boy. Silly Marco. That looks kind of cool. Maybe, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Volume will be going in. Oh, don't you worry, Sunshine. So if we were to, I would probably go, okay, image, hide. I would probably go mesh, let's go cube. And we would go scale. Probably like this. Does that ping everything? I think it does. Cure it. Let's come over into shading. And we're gonna go into the object. And we're gonna go into a new, get rid of that. And this is from last night's tutorial, I think. We're gonna go into the volume scatter. Dump that one into the volume. Density, we'll go into 0.1. And astrothenal, I still can't say it, 0.9. Oops, 0.1. Point five, point four, zero, point nine, point oh one, point oh one. It's because the volume is too far back, and that's why it's looking like rubbish. Let's just make it maybe four hundred. Oh, and you can just see that. Okay, let's have a look. I'm helping out a group make a short film. And the big, big boss keeps giving an action note saying the thing doesn't look real, even though... I <laughs> yeah. Uh, could I reckon it could be. But I also think that it's just kind of like the mesh. I wonder what that looks like. Off into the distance. All right, cool. So that has hidden our mistakes away, which is what we want. It is now starting to look a little bit better. I do think we need to start maybe stealing some of these rocks and see if we can isolate some of those pieces. And then we'll just kind of like plant them around. Zeb, welcome. Cheers, mate. What does Anster... So from my understanding, what Anster does is it pushes the volume towards the light source and that's why you get those really good god rays coming through um let's let's okay let me get rid of this volume um i'm going to come up here into the filters and i don't want to be able to select that volume let's come into here i'm going to come back into my asset all right just come over here hey let's go over into there into there 
I can do this. There we go. Um, and then we'll go into materials. And I want... Maybe this one. You. On that. Mm, will this work? I don't think so. Because it'll be too dark. But do we go with the concrete? I don't know. Thanks, Emerger. She's stinking around. Uh, these ones I created. Uh, these are these are starting to get a little bit old. Uh, but yeah, I created these scans. Let's go. Oh, what is? And that one there. Sci-fi materials. It doesn't suit. What we might try and do though is if I were to come down to here because at this point here it's not really going to be mattering what the color is oops okay go away if we went maybe like a dark color it's too dark See, the problem is, is now it gets lost too much. Uh, I mean, if we change the white light to a bluey light. Da -na 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 -na. Doesn't really work. So definitely this material here is wrong. I think it needs to be maybe a... Maybe even like... Something like that. Oops. Let's just zoom in. Make this color wheel a little bit bigger. I do want it slightly yellow. Hmm. Can't work out a nice color. I think maybe then I might just have the, um, this thing too strong where is it where is it here it is the volume could be that that density 0 0.01 0 0.03 0 0.04 0 0.03 and then this material here we can make this as metal and it's going to be a very simple metal of metallic all the way up specularity all the way down and roughness will bring down cool let's go with that the other one as well metal definitely too shiny so let's go ahead and bring the roughness up noise noise um, we've got our cube in there uh, just for funsies, I am going to bring in one of the models that we've built before, which is in my library, station, small space, a fighter, sci-fi transport ship. I like this one. This is my favorite one. Um, this is a Patreon version. Yeah. Which is kind of like pretty much a little bit more cleaned up. Na 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 na. Ah, it's a render. Ooh, that's right. I remember this now. Okay, let me maybe open up a different version. Don't save that one, please. This one. There we go. Uh, and it's rigged. Well done, Marco. Let's go see. Uh, I shift S cursor is selected. Let's throw in a empty, 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 empty. There we go. Hey, uh, who's here from Australia and who's going to PAX? There's a question for you. Let's go control P parent to object, control C. And we'll come back into this scene, control V. So I think that's what the problem is, is the scale. 
Mystery Merger is right as always. I'm just going to go scale by 10. Let's grab. Oh, geez. Uh oh. What the? Oh, no, that's fine. Uh, my thing of above didn't. Sc How weird's that? What a stupid thing. Uh, whoops. Scale by 10. And now we can see kind of like roughly what the size scaling is. So we're probably going to have to change that. It's kind of, you can be going into that section there. Camera will be completely off. Right. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Let's maybe select everything. Scale 0.1. And we'll bring it back. Let's come into render settings. Zeb. Welcome, buddy. Oh, yeah, you're already here. Are you going to PAX? <laughs> Marky Mark. Hey, Marky Mark. How do you get your scene to render like that in cycles? Like what? What do you, uh, what do you specifically ask after? That's not bad. Um, you know what? I think we've got depth of field on as well. And come on, select the camera. And it's pointing at the cube when it needs to be pointing at... What do we call it? Where's my ship? Oops, this is a uh, sci-fi ship. So let's go ahead and select our camera and select our camera. Sci-fi ship. There we go. And so that technically should be focusing on that. Let's just get control S and save. And then I'm just going to do an F12 and we'll just kind of see where we are. Mornington. Mornington sounds familiar. It renders like Mig Journey pic renders pictures. Mm. Nothing really. I haven't done anything special. Mornington. Morning. Is that Victoria? I think that's Victorian. Nope. Yes, it is. Aha. New Mount Isa. Oh, that's right. All right. Without all the grains, I just put in denoiser. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Uh oh. Did I save? I sure hope I did. Is my stream dying? I don't know. Lens dirt in the compositing. Yeah, that's a good idea. I do like that. Uh, my computer is not happy about this render. Ugh. La poop. La poop. Are you, are you dead? Are you going to die? You're going to die, aren't you? Okay. We won't render then. Can you now go away, please? Stop rendering. Oh, it's maybe because i got like five other scenes open. Okay, let me just close some blender scenes. This scene can now close. Um, you know what? Uh, do I have anything else of interest in here? Not really. This here... This is kind of like a path that I did. So this is, uh, yeah, 3D path render. So that's kind of cool. And this was, I don't know where this was. I scanned it somewhere. I know where, actually, I know where it was. Oh, come on, computer. You can do it. Go away now. Delete. You've done your job. Where are you on this dirt ball? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I did save. CPU render off, and now I'm rendering five times faster. I have done that, I believe. I believe. Uh, system. Cuter. There we go. It's only there. So. Anyway, future Marco problem. Um, but yeah, I'm. Denoise is what I'm doing there. Do I. Do we go with this one? Let's find it. What is it? What is that giant ship called? I believe it's in here, library, sci-fi ships, and it's a dreadnought. I've called it. Dread, sci-fi, heli, dreadnought. I think this is the one. I think. I think this is the one. You know what I mean? That is delightful. 
Let's grab that. Let's actually maybe create uh, another empty. And we'll dump that one in there. Scale on the Y, scale on the Z, G, G to the Y. Okay, and then we're going to grab everything. Camera go away, camera go away. Any other cameras in here? Wow, there's a, there's a lot of pieces in here. Anyway, let's grab... Hey, what are you? Okay, that, what are you? Let's get rid of those empties. Shift... Oh, here we go. Control P, parent to object. And then this one is going to be here. Scythe... Uh, Dreadnought. Dread not. That's not how you spell it. That's fine. Hey, what the heck's this? Delete it. <laughs> that's uh, that's what you are. You're gone. <laughs> Delete. Uh, then we go back into this scene. And I'm going to go like so. Control V. Rotate Z. Z. Actually, we'll just select this. Scale. What are that's going to look like? Huh. What do you know? move it forward so now there's a big flaw with this picture at the moment is there's no point of interest like here dead center is the point of interest I feel like there needs to be someone here yeah I know that's why I put it there uh hang on which state no, 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 sorry sorry ah I'm Canberra Canberra bra. So back to this, there is no key focal point. So I reckon probably having a person here. And if we were to maybe just rotate the camera around a smidgen, something like that. And if we kind of bring back our image, image, where's our image? Oh gosh. Control S save. Where's my image? Empty, empty. And I think that's what's missing is maybe kind of like a person here. Definitely some clouds, but I don't think we need clouds now because we've got that orange haze. Um, I do like how that's projecting here and I do feel that we need something on top. Where's your cloud? I haven't put your clouds in yet because I don't need your clouds just yet. Hold your horses. Cheese and whiskers. So... I reckon that's what it is. I think that's what's missing is is a person standing here. Definitely, we've got to continue building up. We'll build some sort of tower or something. Um, we definitely need to change this. What we'll probably do is a little bit of compositing. Um, we will make that fog glow, maybe of the lights. Fine, I will put your clouds in. Uh, do you have any transfer? No. So that's why I'm thinking. I think a person. Yeah. And so it's heavy on the left side. And that's why having that person there I will hopefully bring it back. Yeah. All right. Let me just download Big Clouds. All right. What website do you recommend for free landscape scanning? Ah. Oh, well, let me tell you. Um, you need to like and subscribe because there's a video coming out. Tuesday about that but it's also art station <laughs> uh, art station's got like a massive library of oh boy oh, yo, 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 yo. has a absolutely massive library mm. control a apply scale mm. undo Let's go. No, 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 no. I want this. Uh, let's go into the material settings. Yep, 
Yeah, yeah, Art Station has a lot of free stuff. Okay, random details, uh, density. 0 0.01? Nope. 0 0.1? Okay, let's just undo that, if you want to be like that. 0 0.1? 0 0.001? Point oh five. Mm. Okay. All right. If I go G Y, can we can we fudge this mist? What if? Oh, actually, does this? Mist work rotated. Excellent. And we have something like this. Let's go G. Let's just try that. Ah, render options. Ah, yeah, yeah. For it. Yeah, yeah, ding dong. Uh, volume, I think it was 10 and 16. Let me just go into the other file. 10, 10, 16. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. 10, 10, and 16. Mm. Alt R. I think. So I'm just trying to add in some extra cloudage. It's almost like a heat haze there. Mer Anthony, welcome. Good stream last night, the other night, whenever I was there. I was watching for a bit. I think that's turning out really nice. We've got that really good um, depth there of the hills behind, so it actually does look like a kind of a peninsula. I am semi-inclined to select this, shift D to the Z, and scale that down. Let's go scale 0.1. And then we've got kind of like this dreadnought in the background. Um, let's go one. I am going to bring that forward a little bit. Just because I know the depth of field is right there. And maybe what we'll do is grab this. Bring it up nice and high. I think bumping up the density as well would be a very grouse idea. Is that the right one? Or not? Duh. What's going on here? Ah, oh, idiot. That one. 0 0.01. I think so. Let's have a look how that is looking. So obviously we've got this here. Yeah, beautiful. Let's go with that. Control S to save. And let's jump into one of the best applications ever created. <laughs> Character Creator 4. Ah, uh, yeah. Let me just jump into this thing. Jump over into... <laughs> uh, let's just click on this thingamabob. And we will click on this thingamabob. Control V. There we go. Check that out. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly whip up a character. I think I already might have created one. Mm, file open. Let's bring that over. I've got half done. There we go. Scruffy character. Beautiful. Drop the antenna to 0 0.9. It already is. So if we come back into this scene, into the world. Oh, no. Your antenna. No world nope this thing object ah oh, dang it so let's have a look how that's looking so <laughs> oh yeah my uh, my computer is not happy one little bit but it is looking 
pretty good. Definitely needs a lot of work in here on this station. Um, but once we bring in this person, I think we might be laughing or joyful or crying. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. All right, so over into here, let's quickly go find his helmet. I want him to wear a helmet. Where's your helmet, mate? Dude, where's your helmet? Okay, let's go ahead. Battle Mech series, here we go. Uh, you can have a white helmet. Ugh. Is it just adding multiple? Th Where's, where, hang on. Let's just go delete. Delete, delete, delete. Donkey, steel helmet. Beautiful, there we go. From here, let's go file, export. FBX, clothed character. Blender. <laughs> Almost died. Let's go just mesh. Um, embedded textures. No. Baked. Yes. Yes. Use subdiv subdivide mesh. Yes. Cancel. <sighs> oh, this is going to break. Okay. I'm just going to save just in case the bad stuff happens. Come down. Smooth mesh. Sweet. File, export, FBX, uh, clothed character, blender, mesh. Yes, 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 yes. Export. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> and another menu. All right, let's come over into here. I'm just going to export. What are you doing, you donkey? Over here, there. 029 is where this one is. New folder, folder, character. It is a character. Do you know what it is? Soldier. Isn't that right? Eh? You know. Ah, oh, sorry. Okay, hang on. Back. Uh, uh, uh. Terraforming. What? Looking spiffy. It's not bad. Uh, terraforming, yeah. So these are all photo scans that I used. I think I can close this now. Big volume. Phew. <gasps> oh gosh all right so i'm happy with how that is looking okay so from here i'm going to shift left click let's go control f and i have clean something enabled import my character character soldier do you know about this i've been importing the soldier what is that from i'm trying to think of that voice Oh, isn't that right? Eh? It's about to time. I uh, can't think of the character. Did it? Did I? Did I break it? I broke it, didn't I? I broke it. Mer. Come on, Blender. Dang it! I hope I saved it. I'm pretty sure I saved it. Let's just give it a sec. It is about to tell me. It's a poor computer. It's 12.30. It's getting hot in here. And it's not even summer. Shut up. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Are we in? Did it import? There we go. Okay, here's my character. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, let's go into solid view. All right, let's select our character. Um... Somewhat annoying. That's fine. And let's go into Auto Rig Pro. Quick Rig, Quick uh, Import that thing. Shut up. And we go Quick Rig, Preserve Volumes. Yes, please. Oakley, Oakley. My computer would actually. Yeah, it's uh Welsh. I'll take that. I'll take it. My, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure my computer's not happy in the slightest. Okay, so if we were to move him, rotate 90. 
what I am going to do for now, go out of interpose mode. I'm going to select the volume and just go H. Let's come back and select this chap, pose mode. Do we? Oh, geez. Let's go Alt G. Let's go into pose mode and we'll go scale 1.5. Control Z, scale two. Look at Sandman. Just so he's kind of like more. Let's see what this looks like. All right, we. Where's my volume? Are you my volume? Oh, sorry, computer. Let's get rid of this volume. Let's get rid of this volume as well, just for now. That one there. That one there. I want to get rid of that one. Big cloud. Depart. And I'm just going to rename my other one. Uh big volume there we go all right so maybe what we might do i'm just trying to think how we're going to pose this guy should he um how should i pose this chap standing squatting um, sampling. That's nice for sampling. Look at that. A pole. Of course, that. Thanks, Anthony. That was all because of you. I was like, you jerk. I had no idea about this. Standing. Squatting. Uh -huh. Squatting. Yeah. All right, we're down. Come on, stop being a jerk. All right, go back into this mode. Period key to zoom in. You are a big boy, that's fine, okay. So let's go ahead. Uh, yeah. Let's kind of give him a bit of a pose. Posey McPose pose. That is the heel, isn't it? I believe so. Come on. Get in there, mates. Yeah, mates. Should be right. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Oops. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Whoop. <laughs> ah, jeez. <laughs> and every day I'm shuffling. Do, 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 do. Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness, you idiot. <laughs> you idiot. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> Shut up, you're tired. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Deselect the hand. Oh, far out. Fine, I'm manually hand. Uh. Nope, not the farm. Not the farms. <laughs> oh gosh. It's good to it's good to see the delay. <laughs> uh let's go right. So I'm just trying to pose him. Nope, that's the wrong way. ZZ. Whoop. I was right. It is true, sometimes I do worry about myself. Okay. It's all right, she'll be all right. Uh, rotate YY, XX. Oof, jeez, breaking your hand, buddy. Uh, we can see that his hands are poking through, which is fine. 
uh, what we can do now is I can go select his arm, control C to copy the pose. And if I want to flip the pose, I can go control shift V. And then that um, mirrors the pose. But obviously if you've got both arms selected and you do a control C and then control shift V, then the arms will kind of like flip, if that makes sense. Let's uh, yeah, bring that down. It's like, hey, what is, what's, what's, what's this piece of dirt here? I feel like though, he should still be technically looking up. Um, and that's just based off. Is that, that's the facial bone. That's the jaw bone. Let's kind of just give him that. And you can kind of see that we're breaking him a little bit here. Is that your hair, mate? Hey. Delete. There we go. Uh, the body. I'm going to delete the body as well. Because uh, he's got a full kit on. <laughs> hmm. And so that's him kind of like looking up at, up and at them. So hang on, left foot, left foot would be back. So it means the right arm would be pointing at it, but I want that left foot, left, left arm pointing at it. I need something in here, I reckon. Uh, also, it'd be good for him to be standing on some ground, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. I mean, they can, just fix it up. What the heck? Where's the ground? Okay. Are you in the ground? You're in the ground now. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Okay, let's bring that leg down. Leg down? Where? What the? Oh, because he's sitting on the edge. Um, well, let's go like so. Uh, end pole. Squatting. Oh, squatting. We want squatting. You dumb donkey. Okay. All right, we can get we can give him a bit of a squat. Uh, I should probably go look at chat. I oh, want your birthday dance. Huh. Uh, his little finger on the thumb. Yeah, I think I might. Uh, no, I actually haven't played with pose libraries. Surprisingly enough, uh, back in the early days, I think I tried it a few times. Um, but obviously since I've been able to use a mocap suit, just kind of throw a mocap suit on and just go to town. Let's go. Come on. We're going to be standing, buddy. Okay. Let's give your legs a little bit of part and you can give the slav squat. This is good. No, no, I sleeve squat and kind of like so uh, that one there like so make sure he's balanced uh, make sure the legs go out a bit and <laughs> you're a little bit of, you got a bit of a belly on you buddy okay let's do a squat is that beard back? No. Beard, beard, beard for shay. Does anyone know what that reference is? It's beard for shay. Gosh. Oh, yeah, that's a squat. I <laughs> need for a throw. Uh, let's do as if Marco's hurt his back. Ugh. Um, how, I'm lazy. 
Let's just go into IK. And we'll do the same. This is good. Uh, where's the elbow? There it is. Okay, that's uh, completely breaking, but it's fine. Whatever's. Come on. This guy makes me always want to play Satisfactory, though. I have been smashing Satisfactory lately, though. One of the best games ever made. Who doesn't love maths? And factories. <sighs> Have you ever been to like a really good factory and you're like, oh yeah, it's a good factory. A satisfactory for you, baby. Oh, so good. Something like that. Yeah, no, uh, anyway, but Satisfactory. Best game ever made. Um, just loving it. Loving, loving just playing it. I think, I reckon you could probably go lower. Let's go like this. Grab both hands. Uh, now, there won't be a stream next Sunday because I will be traveling to Radelaide. Uh, the box factory gives me so many memories. <sighs> Power squatting, yeah. All the way. Um, I think maybe what we might have to do is just create some sort of box or something just here. Um, but this is kind of nice as this chap now is looking in that direction. But I know that this needs... So much work. Can I scale him? Can I scale him? Can I scale him? Huh. Murr. Obviously, we don't have the fog in at the moment. Um, so, for instance, if we were to go big volume. Control S, big volume. I mean, it's not bad. Do we have too much wasted space here? What do we reckon? This is all too much. Do we go, I'm sorry, computer. Do we go G, Y, G, X? G, Z, Z? Something like this. And then we bring that down. All right, control, control S. Save. Oh, geez. Ah, oh, far out of back. Oh, don't hit black ice if you're riding a bike uh-huh that's looking a little bit better i'm going to bring down the camera g to the z just to show that he is squatting pop a moon or something in the void yeah or maybe we might just grab come on wireframe or don't or maybe we might just throw kind of like that in there. This in here. And then we might maybe put some. Need some kangaroos in there, mate. Mate. Hey. <laughs> I think so as well. I think a solid box just in here. Let me just hide that. Probably a nice box just in here. What he's looking at. Definitely this all needs so much work. So let's maybe jump, maybe we'll make that our priority for now. Because I mean, you can see that it's fairly simple at the moment. Um, so I am just going to keep Ash the heck out of this. Soof. Markham 3D. Da -da -da -da. Mm -mm -mm. 
Yeah, go on, let's put that in there. Scale, rotate Z 38 degrees, rotate Z 90 degrees. Uh, definitely all this in here needs to be done. So let's go ahead and do this loop. Control B to do a bevel. Uh, we will go Shift D, P, separate by selection. I want to select that. Just give me this. Give me this. There we go. Uh, from here, let's go ahead and delete these bottom faces. Delete faces. And I'm going to go straight away, throw a solidify modifier on that puppy. And it'll make it a little bit bigger. Make it zero. Something like that. Make sure we turn on even thickness. And then once we've got that selected, we could probably just select this. Nope, let's not. Select this and this. Delete edge loops. And put an edge loop right in the middle. Is that right in the middle? Doesn't seem like right in the middle. It's right in the middle. Control B. Bring it down like that. Let's do another Control B like so. Um, and then from here, what we can do is maybe grab this section here, G to the Z, bring it up. Scale. Ah, yeah, you fat mole. Let's go like so. Brr. Stop it. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Control B. And we'll go something like that. And then from here, I want to grab that edge, delete edge loop, and then we'll grab this edge. There we go, delete edge loop. And let's go GG. GG. Nice. And then that's given us that. Let's go scale this whole edge. Whoops. GG. Nice. A. You're not meant to be protruding outwards so much. 0.05. Um, something like that. Yeah, nice. Sick. So Shift D. There we go. And that's just going to hopefully add a little bit more into it. Even though we don't really see it. I kind of want to get rid of that back face. Oh. oh that's fine. Let's go period key from here. Good night, Zeb. Mm. Wow. Okay, so I know how to drink. Let's go like so. And we're going to go assign. But what I will do is I'm going to put an edge loop through here. Control B. Like so. And then with that, I'm going to go assign. Um, definitely we need to add just some more crud in here as well. Let's maybe throw that one on there. Scale, scale, scale 0.1. And then I am actually going to go snapping will be to nearest face. There it is, that one. Median, uh... Exclude non-selectables, yes please. Oh, rotate. So if I go G and hold control. What? What are you doing? I've missed something. Center? G hold control. Do you all suck the drugs? Ah! Silly Marco. Uh, 38. So what I had there was I actually had it already auto snapping. Noise. Um, just find something else. Give me something. Yeah. Okay. Jet engines. Mm -hmm. That's a nice part actually. Let's go G, hold control, rotate Z38 to the mu Alt R, rotate Z38. Uh, 
And we're just going to fill this up. Fill it up. That's looking not bad. Manatee, welcome back. The loops. Oh, you donkey. I forgot to press the sign. All right, just out of curiosity, what are we looking at now? We're looking at that tree fitting. Oh my goodness. Marco, why do you do this to yourself? I don't know, because I'm an idiot. No. Okay, that's... That's getting pretty grouse. You know what would be better? To add to the story? Like this giant gets stuffed rifle on his back. And it's kind of like, I want to kill these boys. I reckon that's what it needs. Alright, so let me just quickly... I'm just going to update this. Let's select everything and go assign. Uh, And we're going to put in a whole bunch of edge loops. There we go. One, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, man. Marco, stop it. Okay. No, don't stop. Keep going. Finish this off. No worries. Um, let's go into individual origins. Control B to do a bevel. What the heck above them? All right, do it like that then. And sign. Shift N, Control S, and we'll save that. Yeah. We well, guys wanted squatting. He's squatting now. And he's looking. He's looking. What's happening, boys? Okay, let's go. I'm just going to try something really quick. So the emission is going to be past... Mm, it's not really... It's not bright enough. I mean, technically, if it went tonight... Let's try to think. Oh, I wish I had an explosion. That would be cool. Because if I had an explosion, let's say like, nyar, then... It would be pretty cool. <sighs> Stop yawning. I'm not yawning, you're yawning. Oh, my back. I reckon it does need black. I'm getting sweaty. It's hot. This computer's hot. Mer. I reckon this volume. Let's go. Let's go, man. So I think I think still it needs to have that. I think I think that's what it does need. I think 
that's what it needs. I think that's what it needs, yeah. You know what I mean? Let's, uh, we'll give this a bit of a rotation. There needs to be something a little bit more grandeur. Grandeur, if you know what I mean. Something that says, how's your father? But not saying, how's your father? Shut up, it's almost 1am. <laughs> right. Hmm. Maybe, uh, let's... I tell you what, let's try something. This is what we'll try. I'm going to try and put a nice big spire in here. So if I were to come into here, um, I had a nice ship with a spire. I know. Uh, let's try this. I'm going to try it. Might work. Might not. But it might work. But it might not. I don't know. Mm, I'm just closing all these down. Bedside. I know, dude. I know. I'm so cooked already. Not cooked as in, you know, cooked. So I'm just tired. Uh, open. We want to go. <laughs> Uh, I want the cargo ship. Transport cargo. Cargo ship. Uh, this one. Uh, why is there a camera? I don't want a camera. Go away, camera. Is there another camera? There is another camera. Where is it? It's gone. Let's go... Control-C. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm afraid for this blend file now. I'm very apologetic. Apologetic to this blend file. I just, I have an idea and I just want to test it. Rotate X, Y, 90 degrees. Let's go rotate 38 degrees. Uh, so for those of you who are familiar with the channel, we know we created this one live stream a couple of weeks ago now. Hey. Oh, don't go into rendered mode. Come on, you can do it. Get out. Ah, crud. Ah, crud. I broke it. I <laughs> don't. Don't be stupid. You suck. I feel sorry for this blend file. I don't. I just. Why am I sitting so low? Oh, jeez. Ah, suck a lemon. You jerk. All right. Let's go. Let's do one more thing. Come on. Let's see if this works. If this works, it's good. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, I will upload this whole scene minus the character because the character's not allowed to go up. Um, I'll put that up on Patreon after this. I just got to do a render and I don't know how long the render's going to take. Okay. Full screen, please. Uh, control V. Select this. Scale. Scale. Scale, 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 scale. Uh, rotate y90 something like that thank you very much mr mto creation thank you buddy hey, fat mole okay i think this might work you know i am gonna hide it over to there no what the? there we go we're in let's go gy come on Get in. Something like that. Control S to save. Let's just see. We'll see what it is. Is Marco done with it? Am I pushing? Am 
Okay, that's one sample. Oh, I'm sorry, computer. Sorry, but not sorry. That's still one sample. Oh, we're on two samples now. Far out. I, uh, this is, uh, this is 32. It's, we're at number three samples. What we might do for now, um, I'm just going to go big volume, big cloud. Let's just get rid of those two. Oh, itch. Itchy. -dee. Two weeks later, I know. And the other one. Big cloud, go away. All right, one. Wow, I've uh, I've done some bad things to this computer. Let's, you know what? We'll all speed it up. Let's go camera. Let's drop this down to maybe three hundred. Cool, two fifty. Okay, I'm just trying to find the edge of that um, material there. Uh, 100. Yeah, that's gone. 120. 150. 160. There we go. All right, so that's the edge. So let's leave it at that. I'm going to try and let this render. Oh, no, the spire's out of frame. Let's move it down. Rotate XX. Uh oh. Perfect. Done. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. I am now done with this. I'm going to let it render. I'm going to brush my teeth. Hopefully by the time I get back, it's going to be done, but I don't think so. Uh, light parts. Okay, let's let's bump these down. Four, one, one, four. One. Uh, actually, maybe I can go zero and zero. rendering a little bit faster uh, performance persistent data uh, motion blur no motion blur is needed I wonder if I take off depth of field not really no all right let's call it a night I will upload the final image up to the insta this will be available to download on Patreons probably tomorrow morning. I'm cooked. It's almost, it's 1 a.m. Uh, what else? I am going to be doing a few more short tutorials, like the one minute video from last night, and just, just kind of smash out as much. What about Simplify tab? What? What's Simplify tab? What? Get stuffed.
Okay. Yeah, you learn something every day. Simplify tab. What do you know? Uh, now my clouds volumes aren't working. Thank you. That's a uh, that's a fun little feature there that uh, I didn't know about. Let me go back into now uh, light paths transparency fifty. That looks a lot better there. Big one, big clouds. Oh, volume. Let's go one, five. Oh my goodness. I've never, never used that feature. Let me, uh, I just, just got to quickly write a note to myself. Uh, let's jump into, not Outlook. About, just so I can quickly write a note about, um, to keep that, to do a video on that, because that's freaking unbelievable. <laughs> Where's my calendar? Calendar, notes, my day. I want to go to calendar. Just shut your pie hole. New event. Uh, simplify for massive scenes. Okay, that's a, that's a fun feature. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Now I'm stealing it. Thank you. <laughs> so, yes, we're done. Marco's cooked. Let's render this out. Let it go. Just like Elsa, let's go of her balloons. And, <laughs> and yeah, so probably the next fortnight, there's just going to be a whole bunch of one-minute tutorials. Um, I wonder if I can do an overview of this video. I don't know what I would do, but, uh, yeah, maybe we just break it down. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Anyway. Pricey. Good old Pricey. Yeah, if you look at Pricey's channel now, mm, doesn't get a lot of traction whenever he releases a video. Fast GI. I, I, I want to play with all this now. Anyway. Good night. Have a wonderful evening. Good morning. I don't know. I'm <laughs> sorry.